Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here and you're cooking with Jack. And we, as you can tell, are taking a break from the international dishes. Okay, we will come back, but this is what we're going to be doing. I'm going to show you the lineup right now so that you guys don't worry. I didn't forget the international dishes. I have two more to do and that's coming up. But let me show you just real quick the episodes we're going to be doing. First, we're doing the Lazy Man's Super Bowl chili. Then we're going to do a, another quick and dirty dip. So you'll have that also for Super Bowl and that's next week's video. Then we have the big 100th episode. Can't tell you what I'm doing on that or what we're going to talk about or what I'm going to show you, but that's coming up. And then after the 100th episode, we're going to be doing the international dish number three. That one is going to be from the country of Brazil. That's right. So all you Portuguese people, get ready because I'm going to try and speak Portuguese and I'm probably going to destroy it, but uh, I didn't do too bad with the German. I just had my wording wrong. And then international dish number four, the hardest one for me is going to be a dish from France. Okay, so we're gonna do some French food, some Brazilian food, that's after the 100th episode, after the quick and dirty dips, but first let's get into the chili. Uh, before I explain the chili, I just wanna show you some of your pictures that you've sent me. I like to throw these in, you guys are doing a great job. So like, for example, take a look at this. This pie has been amazing, the chess pie, big, big hit on our show, and I don't know if it's Pa City 3 or Pay City 3, but this is the chess pie that Pay City 3 sent me. Also, here is Nick's Bacon Explosion. There's the before, and there's the after. And then we have Michael's Lazy Man's Pizza. Love those Lazy Man dishes. And forgive me if I mispronounce your name, but I, I think it's either Thin or Thine's Bleeding Heart Cupcakes. I'm gonna go with Thin. Thin's Bleeding Heart Cupcakes and transformers.com's lazy man side dish with carrots. There you go. Also, one of you out there did a parody on me again. That's right, and I will put that uh, link up at the end of this episode. You guys can jump over there and see what they did. I think they kind of, it's like a, almost like an auto-tuning me, but uh, anyway, I'll let you see that later. Now, let's get into food. Lazy man, why is this a lazy man recipe? Because everything's coming out of cans and jars. The game's gonna start soon. I ain't got time to slow cook this in a crock pot or a pot on the stove. I'm opening cans and I'm just gonna cook it all together. All right, let's run down the ingredients. Come on in close and I'll show you. So let's take a look at this. I've got two cans of pinto beans. I got black beans, tomato paste. We got the corn, we got the black pepper. I also got the coarse salt. I got the red pepper flakes. I got the diced tomatoes, the two jars of salsa. We're gonna chop up a fresh onion to give it a little bit of freshness. I have one pound of ground sirloin beef right here, and I have one pound of Jimmy Dean sausage. The hardest thing we're gonna have to do is brown these two before we throw everything in. All right, so let's take you over to the stove, and we're gonna show you how this works. Remember, down below is the recipe. Just cut and paste it. Oh yeah, I don't wanna forget also, uh, Metal Forever 1975 is the one who brought me this recipe. If you like it, be sure to thank him personally on YouTube. If you don't like it, be sure to let him know on YouTube. Whew, I want to give credit where credit's due. Thank you, Metal Forever 1975, for this recipe. Let's go do it. Make sure your pan or pot or Dutch oven or whatever you're cooking in has a medium flame. I sometimes do a little bit of a high flame to get that browning procedure happening much faster. But if you're not real uh, confident in your cooking, go with a medium flame, take it slow. Throw some olive oil in there. If you're a vegetarian, just saute some vegetables in here for your chili, okay? And then throw the rest of the ingredients on top of it. So just replace the meat that I'm showing you here with uh, your favorite vegetables. Alrighty, so let's do it. I got extra ground top sirloin. It asked for a one pound of that. But once again, I'm a, I'm a big meat guy. So here we go. But gently, don't forget to wash your hands, okay? Anytime you're directly handling the food, you wanna wash your hands. So I have about a little over a pound, probably a pound and a half right there. Then we're gonna take our one pound of sausage, cut that package right open. Set that right in there. Now get yourself a spoon. If you got a spoon that's like a bamboo type, you want a sharp edge to it, because you're gonna have to break up the meat. So go ahead and get yourself a sharp edged spatula, something that won't scratch up your, your cookware, but will help you 
get these two meats blended together. Another tip I like to give you guys is always bring your meat down to room temperature before you start cooking it. It's so much better. The pan doesn't have to fight as hard to get it to the temperature it wants and start browning it. This is about 75% done. You can see there's still some pink areas I need to cook. I'm going to throw my onions in here too to get those goes cooked down a little bit before we throw all the ingredients in together. So just take your medium onion, throw it in there, and just let that saute in there too and, and finish browning your meat. So this looks about done. Let's start adding everything in now. You ready? I just want to give you a shot of this really quick. See how I left a little bit of liquid in there? Not a lot. I drain most of the liquid, leave just a little bit. Did the same with the black beans. Black beans are pretty thick. So first we're going to start with the pinto beans. We're putting everything in at once. We're just going to simmer this bad boy all the way down. Now all the black beans. Now let's put in the corn. Put in the, uh, it asks for diced tomatoes, really it asks for crushed tomatoes, but I'm using diced tomatoes, doesn't really matter. The last major thing we have is the jars of salsa, oh, I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, this is going to be fun. The tomato paste. And we're not going to put the seasonings in just yet. Let's get this mixed up first. Then we're going to put in all our seasonings. Wow. Looks like I really made something fancy, doesn't it? All right. Before we finish mixing this, let's put in all our seasonings. Our black pepper. Coarse salt. Garlic. And red pepper flakes. You can alter this any way you like. You don't like something, leave it out. You want more, put it in. Here we go. Set your timer. We'll check it in 20 minutes, see how it looks. I let this go for at least 40 to 45 minutes. I'm just going to cook down a little bit of this liquid, and then we're going to chow down. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, uh-oh. I just drooled on my, my Dallas Cowboy uh, uniform here. This is delicious. Okay, look at that. Beautiful, hot, Super Bowl chili, lazy man style. And I gotta tell you, if I could have it anyway, I would get a big chunk of warm, fresh baked bread, melt some butter over it. In fact, forget the butter, just forget the butter. I would dip it right there, because look at that. This is beautiful. Oh, if you could just smell that. We gotta give this a try. That is gorgeous. Oh, you know what, we're forgetting something. Hang on a minute. <laughs> look at that. All right, now it's perfect. Oh, look at that. Can you guys see the cheese hanging? That is beautiful. That is beautiful. All right, really quick. It's going to fall. Look, um, before I try this, I just want to say, <laughs> I just want to say thanks for sharing my videos on Facebook. Keep sharing them. Uh, they're getting the word out and it's really happening. I appreciate it. Share this one too. Lazy Man Super Bowl Chili. Here we go. Mm-mm-mm. Mmm. -mm. Oral. Okay, it's absolutely flawless. Take pictures, make this happen. You guys enjoy the game and I'll see you on the next episode of Cooking with Jack. Take care. Go Pittsburgh! What? Did you, did you really just shout that out at the end of my show? Are you serious? I oughta. <laughs>